It's November 17th, and I'm taking you on a very late season garden tour. Right now, we're looking at some Brussels sprouts. We got purple ones, we got green ones. And uh, I've just picked them. So let's see what else we've got going on around the garden. Yeah. Well, I'm still shooting Brussels. You know how some people cast a long shadow? Well, that would be me. Hey, how you doing? So, uh, what we have here is a lot of dirt. But surprisingly, there are still things that are growing. Uh, I just made up a, uh, a new dish that's made with parsley and uh, garlic and olive oil and vinegar and used it on carrots last night and Sandy had it with eggs this morning. We also have, let's see, I'll try not to cover it up here, a lot of garlic planted and uh, that's uh, showing mulched garlic there. Let's take a little closer look. Here we got your Randazzo Red. Garlic number four, type number four, and seven cloves were planted here. So this is uh, officially stick season here. You remember the uh, gorgeous foliage of the last garden tour? Well, it's all on the ground now. This is kind of an interesting shot. Looks like uh, the battlefield at uh, Custer's Last Stand or something. This is our, uh, our kale plants. And my gardening advisor, Zach McDermott, uh, advised me to leave the kale grounds on the garden because he said they uh, inhibit weeds. So other than that, we got a couple of kinds of garlic planted. And if we march up here, just take a bumpy ride we still have some arugula growing. Pretty hardy stuff because we uh, it's getting into the lower 20s at night at this point. Darwin's garden is pretty well put to bed although uh, I am hoping to do a burn pile tomorrow and take care of some of our accumulated twigs that are too much to be composted. And speaking of compost and dead soldiers there lies this year's pumpkin crop. Did your job oh well, God. fellas. A flying saucer has landed on Gilead Brook Road. Oh, and there's another one over there. Actually, what these are are chunks of ice that uh, were in the bottom of a bucket. Could have fooled you, though. It looks like uh, the man on the moon, right? With a leaf underneath. Rutabaga Row. As I said, this uh, that sign has seen better days. and. Over here you see some material management type things, so leaves and straw and things prepared for next year. Here's another little bit of uh, garlic that's been mulched and here are the leaves from those Brussels sprouts that we started off These with. These guys just never cease to amaze me. They're about the first things to bloom in the spring, the last things to bloom in the fall. They don't call them Hardy Johnny Jump Ups for nothing. And meanwhile, let's take a look inside the cold frame here. Lift it up, and there we see a lot of bright green arugula just awaiting to be eaten. Not bad for November 17th. 